seemed like your kick was really strong was and maybe didn't take it out quite as hard as well. Yeah, back uh, this year to help yeah we really talked about a lot of strategy. Uh, just make up the stag, or sit down in lane five because he's the uh, second fastest time, and then uh, just give it everything, everything else you have. Just kind of set everyone else up for the kick at the end. You've been going for that four, that sub 47 here for a couple years now to finally get it in your last open four. What's that mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, just being able to end my high school 400 career, something like this, with that kind of time, it's just, it's just really amazing. Something that you know probably won't even hit me for another 10 minutes, but it's a great feeling. How do you do it for you? Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, you know, that's almost a whole second faster than my best time ever. So, you know, it was a bit shocking, but that's just the kind of competition I run against. You know, they're all great athletes. It's been really an honor and a privilege to be able to run with these guys for the past four years. So I give it up to them, too. Was it the extra night's sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely helped, especially after running, you know, two events yesterday in a pretty short span. But, uh, yeah, I guess that, that sleep did help a little what was bit. That, what was that weight like? Uh, you know, you get out there yesterday, you're lined up, almost ready to take off. And out on the track what's it like to have to wait? That their wheels for the turn. Uh, it was a little disappointing, we'll especially because we were scheduled. pretty much ready to go. And uh, Sorry for any having to wait uh, that delay and then just them dropping that we're going to just wait till tomorrow. It was a little bit wheelchair athlete uh, discouraging, but, you know, kept my head right. Just got some good rest ready. and was ready to go today. And ready to go for their race at 800 meters. Once again, just Brought back you're right there with, for others with 100 to go. What, what's kind of going through your mind high school track that last time? Uh, to add the wheelchair just, advantage. Uh, relax, keep your form. And they will be going uh, as everything scheduled. Have, everything at rest I have in the on that kick. So following. I knew hit, someone was going to come. I knew someone was going to be right on my tail. So I just had to keep my composure and get uh, so two my boys four four my training. will be up next. I talked to Coach Campbell. Here are your qualifiers to the finals. Two A girls four by four. Middle Center, the Tri Center, Center you had a Panorama, that after Western that second last year, you told him you had to come back. PPWC, to, to trainer, what was that conversation Van like? Meter. What was it that made you want to come back to do this? Uh, it's, uh, just the state meet last year wasn't really exactly, didn't go exactly as planned. It wasn't really something I wanted to end my high school career on. While going up to Iowa State early was tempting and would have been very beneficial. Two A boy, four by four, uh, uh, number sat one right in my is heart, up next, knowing that. I left a little potential and a couple more. We'll run three like, heats uh, of the 2A boys 4x4. I would four let my track team down by leaving and a, possibly and hindering a state the wheelchair title, 800. team title. What were you able to do over the course of a year to elevate yourself? Because obviously the level you ran at last year was high, but to take it an echelon above that, what, what was the offseason like and then how have you kind of built all year? Yeah, I did. A, uh, I started training back in December indoors uh, just to get a little head start on the group. I didn't do that last year. So uh, I did a lot of weightlifting too, uh, just extra conditioning, stuff like that in the winter months to prepare for uh, the, the spring. How long did last year's results stay with you? It, it was something I've, you know, it's never really left me. It's something that I've always kept in the back of my mind, usually mostly as motivation. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's something that was always there, especially just getting snatched right at the end, right at the finish line, it just really hurts. Can you let it go and now? The yeah, I'd say that. The 4x4 four uh, four is up next. I made up for it, but yeah, it was something that I really stuck with me Followed by the 3A boys, while, and then our wheelchair 800s. Now it's top of the world, really. What, 